If you're a dungeon master, you're probably making one of these common mistakes and it's killing your D&D night. Hey there, adventurers. My name is Judd. Welcome back to Short Rest Studios. Today, I want to talk about some common mistakes dungeon masters make that can really massacre the magic of D&D. Look, DMing takes practice and nobody's perfect. Just ask my players. You're terrible but avoiding these pitfalls can really help your sessions feel more immersive and enjoyable for everybody at the table. Mistake number one, railroading your players. One of the easiest ways to kill D&D night is to make your players feel like they have no agency, no control over what happens. A lot of times as DMs, we make the mistake of giving the story in our heads priority over the players at the table. There's a fine line here because Hopefully, the story you're laying out for your players is part of what's keeping them coming back, but you have to avoid forcing them down a certain path or railroading them into outcomes you want at the expense of their own ability to help shape the story. Tabletop role-playing, D&D, Pathfinder, DCC, whatever, is really about cooperative storytelling. Instead of railroading them, giving them options, freedom to make choices, and then react to the choices they make. Mistake number two, talking too much. Listen, part of the reason we're DMs is because we like to take the lead and we like to talk, but hopefully we're also in it to go on an adventure with the players at our tables. It's easy to start monologuing and describe every rock, puddle, and crack in the dungeon floor in excruciating detail, but long speeches or too much NPC dialogue get pretty boring for your players. Even if they're not saying it, the bard's definitely thinking, for the love of Lord Bahamut, get on with it. Will this day never end? Try to keep your descriptions and conversations short and sweet. Remember, it's supposed to be fun, and for your players, that means giving them the opportunity to drive the action through their choices, not through your interminable exposition dumps. Make sure your players have time to role play too. Mistake number three, not tailoring the game to your players. This is honestly one of the most difficult parts of being a DM or GM because every player wants something a little bit different out of D&D. One of the best things you can do in session zero is just spend some time trying to understand what your players enjoy and give them a chance to experience it in the game. Whether it's combat, exploration, role-playing, puzzle solving, whatever. Not everybody's gonna love every moment, but you can create moments for everyone at the table by creating encounters and challenges that address the things they're looking for in the game. Are there mistakes you've made as a DM or seen other DMs make that really just decimated your game night? I'd really like to hear about those in the comments. And if you're getting something out of this video, please do me a favor and hit that like button so that I'll feel validated. No, really, it's it lets me know you like what Short Rest Studios is bringing you and it helps other people find this video. Mistake number four, being unprepared. Lack of prep as a DM is hard to hide and more than almost anything else, it can slow your game way down. Everybody knows life happens and sometimes other things have to take precedence so we don't have the time to prepare the way we'd like to. But are you legitimately putting the effort in? Are you spending time between sessions, reviewing notes, brushing up on rules, coming up with ideas? It's really frustrating, right, when you've spent a ton of time prepping for a game night and a player doesn't show. Well, think about how frustrating it is for your players if they take time out of their schedules to be there and you're not ready. You're not ready. I'm ready. We're all human, but do the best you can because there's a direct correlation between your level of preparation and the amount of fun had at your table on D&D night. Mistake number five, not adapting to players. You know it and I know it. No storyline or adventure ever goes exactly according to plan. As a DM, you have to be ready to improvise when your players inevitably do something you didn't plan for. Being able to improv to think on your feet is hard. I mean, I know from personal experience, but I really think it's the key to being a great DM. Don't panic or shut down their ideas, just relax. Hold loosely to your planned story beats. Embrace the creativity of your fellow adventurers because that's what they are. There you go, adventurers. Five mistakes that are probably killing your D&D night. Avoid these and you go a long way toward creating an experience that's fun and memorable for everybody, including you. Because I don't know about you, but for my money, not a whole lot is better than leading my players on an adventure that they remember. I love making content for the Short Rest Studios community, but it is a lot of work and you can help support it by shopping with my affiliate links and checking out my online shop where you can get terrain, game accessories, t-shirts, fun stuff like that. Those links will be in the pinned comment and don't forget to like this video and subscribe 
to the channel. One of the other big struggles we DMs have is keeping our D&D combat encounters exciting instead of bogging down the whole game. Check out this video for some tips on speeding things up, and I will see you next time on Short Rest Studios. Thank you.